Hey guys, this is Grant, and today I'm going to show you the server app. Now, you can get only get this on the Mac because it is strictly to Macs and iPods, iPhones, iPads, the iOS devices. Now, there's th there's one feature in particular that I'm going to show you, and it's called device management. Now, to set this up, you have to have the server app. It is 20 bucks from the App Store. It's the same cost as Mountain Lion. It's not that much, so... I just go buy it but anyways you will click the server app and and then you set up the server which is not that difficult it's basically instructions that are self-explanatory and it basically says how to do it once you turn on a switch like profile manager which is the main feature that I'm going to be showing you today profile manager basically will uh, push profiles which are files that will basically restrict your devices it'll uh, say what to do what it can't do or you can just put a profile there so it'll add an app to the home screen or whatever you can think of now what I'm doing this is called device management what this does you can do three important things from this one profile here it would be to lock your iPhone or iPod or whatever to wipe your iPhone but also to clear the passcode if there's a password on it now take in mind you can do this with any iPod as long as you have a profile like this that you can push and you'll be able to make and everything but what you have to do is you have to set it up so what you would do you would click the portal which would be on your iPod, or in my case, this is my iPod, but you have to, uh, let me slide to unlock here, you have to go to your Safari, and then connect to your server. Now, once you do this, I'm gonna type in the URL to my server, which is MacBook Pro dot local. And then I'm going to hit go. And this will take me to my OS X server. Now, what, what I will do now is because I can't go to the profile manager from here, I have to do my devices. Sla so it would be slash my devices. And then I hit go. Now, this, it will ask me to log in, which I will do. So give me a minute. Now, once I'm logged in, it'll pull this up. Because I do not have a secure s server, it will pull this up because uh, it'll say, you are going into an untrusted connection. Do you want to trust this? I'll hit yes. And now for the iPod, you're going to want to click Profiles. So you're going to click this, and then you're going to hit Install Pro Trust Profile, which for whatever you named your server. Then I'm going to hit install and then I'm going to hit install again. And it's going to say it's verified and I'm going to hit done and it will redirect me back to my devices page. Then I'm going to hit devices and I'm going to click enroll. If I had a secure server or a secure certificate, I wouldn't need to go through this. I'd just hit enroll and it would go through all that. But because I'm not on a secure server, I have to go through that uh, little procedure. Now, for the device enrollment, it says verified now because if I didn't install that trust pro profile, it would say I would not be verified. So I'm going to hit install now, and I'm going to hit install now again. And up here, you're going to see installing profile, generating key, enrolling the certificate, and then it'll put you to this page. And it'll say installing this profile will allow the administrator at the URL to remotely manage your iPod. Now I'm going to click install and it's going to go through that same procedure and now it's going to say profile is installed. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back to my Mac and I'm going to go to Safari open this up. Now I'm going to go back to my MacBook server so MacBook Pro .local. open this and now I'm going to scroll 
actually, my mistake, I keep doing that. You have to uh, add to the URL slash my devices, and then here it is. So now, here's the cool thing. I am going to go and set up a password on my iPod. So now I'm going to go to settings, and then I'll go to general, and set, and set up a passcode like any normal person would do. This is the one feature that I want to show in particular, so I'll do just for this video, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. And now, here, I'm go I just want to make sure that's immediately, oops. Now, I want to make sure that it says, require passcode immediately. Now, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to lock the device. Now, here, here's a really cool part. I'm going to sl try to slide to unlock and say I don't have this passcode or you gave this iPod to one of your employees if you had an enterprise or a business and they gave it to you with their own personal passcode on it. This is how you would do it. I will type say like any passcode and I can't get in. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my devices. I'm going to hit clear passcode. Now, I'm not going to I'm not cutting anything out. I'm going to click clear passcode and I'm going to say, are you sure you want to perform the clear passcode task on this device? Click OK. Now, right now, it has already finished its little thing. And now when I slide to unlock, there you go. Now, here you could also do the lock task, which will just uh, lock your, I your iPod or iPhone, whatever, and then it'll it won't set a passcode nothing it's just gonna be hitting the lock button on your iPod so hit OK and then there you go now for this video I am gonna show you the wipe task because I just cleared this iPod and there's nothing on it I need now what you do you click wipe and it says are you sure you want to perform the wipe task on this device hit OK and then there you go. It wipes now. It goes right to the iPod. And once you hit that OK button, it goes right to the iPad and, iPod and starts erasing it. Now I'm going to let it sit there just so you can see what's going on here. And now it'll do that little bar thing. This one does not take long. And now it's going to boot into the iPod. And there you go. Now you're right back to square one. Slides to set up. And now you're right right back to where you began.